Okay, what's up, y'all? <laughs> y'all know why I'm so talking like that. <laughs> Don't mind me, I just had a hard day at work. Woo, Woo child. Oh, excuse that. Somebody trying to get me to take a photo for 1600 lindens yep i ain't got that kind of time right now i would be willing to help somebody out they trying to pay their rent but you know what i can't right now so that part and excuse me because i ain't got no head and i am not a man but I am making men's clothes. So this is what I do. I put on the dev kits to make sure that it is rigged correctly and not coming through, uh, not merging in with the body, okay? So don't be scared. Anyway, today, we are going to retexture a texture to improve it. So I got this texture in the UV. So I got the UV, the AO, two AOs actually. And AO, it stands for ambient occlusion, okay? So first things first, and these come when you buy full perm mesh, okay? Now, I don't have the mesh, I just have the textures. So, that's one thing. So anyway, yeah. So first things first, I'm going to double click or you can right click and hit open the texture and this is the UV so I'm just going to save it to my desktop as PNG, don't use TGA. And I'm going to hit save. And I already have it. So I'm just going to hit yes. Replace it. And then I'm going to do that. With the other one. So you would just download them. And make sure. I'm going to do this one. Make sure you have it in a folder. Where you want it. Okay. So you keep everything nice and neat. In a folder, name them accordingly. Okay. Alrighty. So I'm just gonna hit save, and you can rename it if you want. I just, I'm just keeping the name. Yes. Okay, and then you would do whatever all the textures and UVs you have that and that you want to use. Just download them. The UV is very helpful. Okay, so now I'm going to go into GIMP. <clears throat> and I'm going to click File here, up here on the left hand side. And I'm going to click Open as Layers. Okay, so this is my downloads folder. But my textures are in here. So I'm going to click desktop. And they're in this folder. Excel textures and templates. And here they are. Ruffle top AO02. Ruffle top UV. And ruffle top AO. So I'm going to left click with my mouse. Hold down control. And left click and left click so I selected all three of those and I'm gonna hit open on the bottom there 
and now I have them in layers I'm gonna click on the UV and just go down here to the arrow and put that up I like my UV to be first okay and I'm gonna click the eye off so I don't see it and um, this one I'm going to change this to overlay for now <clears throat> I'm gonna turn the eye off for there and this texture on the bottom I'm going to right click on it with my mouse and I'm gonna go duplicate layer so I have a copy of it I'm gonna turn the eye off for this one now what I'm gonna do with this layer selected the copy one you see it's like dark gray selected I'm going to go to filters on top. I'm going to go to enhance. And I'm going to go to sharpen, unsharp mask. And then I'm not changing anything. I'm just going to hit OK. So now we sharpened it. OK. And if you want it more sharpened, sharpened, you can go back on filters and you can put repeat unsharp mask. You can reshow sharpen unsharp mask if you want to play with the controls in there. So these, the radius amount and threshold threshold you can click on this plus and mess with the opacity and the mode different modes but I'm gonna cancel that because I don't want to do that um, I usually like to zoom in so I'll hit this magnifying glass icon that's the zoom tool and down here I have zoom in and zoom out so it's already on zoom in so I'm just gonna left click my mouse and then here you can see better okay all right So now this is the sharp one. I'm going to turn the eye off. This is the unsharp one. Sharp one, unsharp one. It's just ever so lightly. So we probably could uh, sharpen it again. So repeat. And I sharpened it again. I think I like it. And so you can do that as much as you want. Okay, and we're going to keep this mode on normal. Okay, so now, let me see. So this overlay, the Ruffle Top AO, I have it on overlay. See here? And that's the opacity. I could turn it down. I could, If I put it to zero, it's going to be off completely. And I'm just dragging my mouse so you can double click in there and just type in a number. Okay, but I want this at 100 right now. I'm not, I might not even use it. I don't know. But I'm going to turn the eye off. I'm going to click on this layer here. And then I'm going to come down here on the bottom right. See this first button? I'm going to click that to create a new layer and I'm going to type in oh you know what we don't need this but if you wanted another layer <clears throat> that you want to draw in or whatever I don't know what you may want to do I usually make another layer to do my own seams 
or from doing wrinkles or some shading or lighting. So I'm just gonna hit cancel. Cause what I'm gonna do is import a texture. So I'm gonna go to file. I'm gonna go open as layers. And this time I have to go to my downloads. I am all over the place. This is why I said keep yourself. Uh, keep yourself organized. Alright, so I'm going to use this texture. And open. Okay. <clears throat> so this texture was already made with the AO. But I'm gonna just enhance it, okay? So with this selected, as you see, it is dark gray. So if that means it's selected. I'm gonna change the mode to multiply, okay? Now if I turn on the ruffle top AO where I put on overlay, this really brightens it up and that's too bright so what you can do is bring it down and bring it down some if you want that lightness let's take the eye off i think i like the lightness okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to click back on the print, Princess Ruffle Top. And we're going to bake. Not bake. What am I talking about? <laughs> we're going to, I'm thinking I'm in Blender. We're going to bump map this. So we're going to go back to filters up on the top. We're going to go to map. We're going to go to bump map. Now, once you're in here, I'm not going to mess with none of these controls. So, you're just going to double click. No, click once. Left click with your mouse on aux input. And I'm going to get click on this ruffle top AO2 copy. I'm going to double click. And it comes up here. And then I'm going to hit OK. And that just puts a bump map on our texture. You see? I should have made a copy so I can show you the difference. Okay. <clears throat> and then we could do another bump map. You just go repeat. Bump map. And we could bump map this one too. So if I click on this one, and I can go repeat bump map. Okay. And then I can zoom on out. I'm gonna hit <coughs> zoom out. And there we have it. Okay. So I'm going to go to File, Save As to save this GIMP file. And I'm going to keep it Ruffle Top AO2. I don't care. But you should name it something that means something to you. Now, I'm going to get the PNG. I'm going to go back to File and Export As. And this time, I'm going to change it. Instead of AO2, I put Texture. Or you can name it or whatever you want. But I'm just going to put it Texture. And export. 
and export again. Now I'm going to go back into Second Life. I'm going to go to Build, Upload, Image, and Ruffle Top Texture, Open. I don't care what that says. Upload. And here's my image. If you need your UID, you can click here and it copies it. Or you can right click and copy asset UUID. Alrighty, well that is it. We have completed our tutorial. So now we will say Goodbye, goodbye, baby.